And this was interesting, and I need to talk to Joe Pilot about this. I'm going to click on the star icon, which is then going to list it within my favorites folder. So when I want to talk to Joe Pilot, I can quickly find that flight file. To move the flight file to the archives, I can simply click archive, and now it's no longer listed on the events page. I can always find those flight files by simply clicking archive, and it will show me all files of interest. Here's the flight file that we moved over, number 082, and I can always move that back out of the archive into the latest page by clicking this icon, which is my unarchive. But let's go ahead and just look in the favorites folder, and we can review that right from here. After I've debriefed with Joe Pilot, I no longer need to keep this in my favorites folder, so I'll deselect that star icon, and now it's gone. To move the flight file to the archives, I can simply click archive, and now it's no longer listed on the events page. I can always find those flight files by simply clicking archive, and it will show me all files of interest. Here's the flight file that we moved over, number 082, and I can always move that back out of the archive into the latest page by clicking this icon, which is my unarchive. But let's go ahead and just look in the favorites folder, and we can review that right from here. After I've debriefed with Joe Pilot, I no longer need to keep this in my favorites folder, so I'll deselect that star icon, and now it's gone. Throughout the software, you can select multiple flight files by simply clicking the top checkbox. Each page lists 25 files, but allows you to select all files up to 5,000 to take an action on. In this case, we have 413 files. We've clicked that, and it's selected all of those items. I can then take the action of marking them favorite, marking them away from the favorites folder, unarchiving, archiving, junk, delete, or download. So I can take many actions directly from the top toolbar.